21 years as the Polson softball coach. Now, what prompted the retirement? Uh, just the time, I guess. Uh, I wasn't really eager to do it, but uh, I thought it was time. And of course, my wife, she thought it was well, well past time. So, yeah, we kind of agreed that we'll do it now. So, and do you miss it at all? I miss it very much, yeah. It, it was such a huge part of my life for, you know, uh, more than 31 years because I started prior to that. First two years here, I was just assisted, uh, who was the varsity coach then, Garth Cox. So, and uh, then I took over the varsity job in, in 88 and had it ever since. So. so ever since the Polson softball team has been around, you you know, had a part in that team. Absolutely, I did, yes. Yeah. Um, when did you first take an interest in fast pitch softball? Uh, you know, I played it myself and really enjoyed it. As, as I went to college at Northern Montana in uh, Haver, and uh, they, I went there with the intent of playing baseball. Well, back then, then dropped the baseball in all the Montana colleges, and uh, there was a fast pitch league there, and, and uh, a couple of classmates uh, had a team, and they were short a player, and they heard that I played, so. They invited me out, and uh, I uh, fell for the game then. So they had quite a men's league in Haver at that time, fast pitch, and it to me it was a much more exciting sport and faster sport in uh, baseball, and, and I really, really got into it. So. Did you meet anybody during your time playing in college that you still have relationship with, with still today? Uh, yeah, there's a few of them around. Yeah, so not too many of us around anymore. <laughs> You have won seven state titles all after the year 2000, um, nine-time coach of the year. You've been inducted to the Montana Coaches Hall of Fame. Uh, you have quite the legacy in Polson. Are there any memories that stand out above the rest? Uh, boy, a lot, a lot of numbers of memories I have, uh, uh, and definitely most of them are good, but there's some bad ones too. But it, it, I think it was just building the whole program and that beautiful complex we got. I think was probably in the friendships I made with the parents and the adults at that time, uh, building that complex. It was a pretty tight knit bunch of uh, fathers that, and mothers that got that going and, and uh, got it done. It didn't cost the school district or taxpayers anything. Everything was all volunteer help. Materials we would beg and borrow and whatever to get the materials and got a lot of donations. And, uh, was that kind of just um show the strength that the community has and how it was behind this Polson softball team going into building that complex? Uh, I don't know if it was a, the whole community at the time. I think we had to gain the, the community's respect because I remember when we first started out, uh, there wasn't a lot of respect for the girls playing fast pitch. Or, oh, they can't play fast pitch, they got to play slow pitch. And, but uh, once the girls uh, started playing fast pitch. There's no way they were going to play slow pitch. You know, it was a boring game for them. So, yeah. How how quick did it uh, did the girls get competitive um, with the beginning of the softball pro program in '85? You took over in '88. How quick were they competitive? Uh, it well initially that first couple of years we were pretty competitive. It was a younger bunch that I'd worked with in the summer, and um, it was my daughter who got me started into the game. So uh, I was working with them before fast pitch ever even got into uh, the high schools. And uh, I think they got off to a pretty good start that, you know, the first couple of years. And then it fell off that flat because there was no other uh, programs, younger youth programs going. But by, I would say, I think 94, we really started to jump up competitively. And by the late 90s, we were very competitive team throughout the state. So. You mentioned the softball complex. You were pretty instrumental in bringing that here to Polson, uh, the Porter Fields there. What was winning a state championship on your home field like there? You know, that was, that was amazing. I uh, <laughs> never saw so many uh, rough, tough fathers with tears <laughs> in their eyes after they won that first championship <laughs> game. So, yeah, 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 that was a great feeling. And uh, uh, it was, it was, uh, it was quite a, well, how would you want to say, book ending for, you know, it was a story, and quite the story 
You know, it's like I told Rick Meininger, who more or less headed up the construction of the complex, that, uh, you know, it was just a dream of mine and you made it a reality. And so, yeah. Now, how's the game of softball grown since you've been in Pulse? And you mentioned that there was no um, youth team to, you know, kind of support the high school teams. You know, it, it's, it's really grown. Uh, once the high school girls started competing and playing, and once we got that youth programs going in, in the summer, uh, then it really t took a big leap and bound. It's, uh, it was probably the fastest and uh, uh, growing sport at the time in, in the community, so, yeah. You guys have the splash tournament here in the summers. What is that all about? Uh, it's just, you know, we, uh, it was something I, I can't remember. I think it was Paul Noble that got it started, but uh, it was just decided to have our own invitational tournament. It was going to be a fundraiser, which it became a huge fundraiser and a very successful right off the bat. And uh, then we continued to have it just for that. It was our big money income for us uh, that carried all these programs that we, we, we still have today. Now, how long is that splash tournament been going on? You got me there. <laughs> I, I don't remember the exact date on that one. I don't. So. Um, no, you're obviously retired now. You have the construction business. How's business been? Uh, business has uh, been really doing well, uh, especially the last couple of years have been super. So, yeah. You still afford you some time to get to some softball games? Oh, yeah, I do. So, I, uh, the business, I'm not that tied down to it so much anymore. My son and my daughter do the day-to-day -day running of the business. So.